When you first noticed the ding in your car, I mean, this happened over a long period of time, Correct. I assume, because there were several of them. Did you have a discussion with Mr. Rivera? Multiple. How did those discussions take place? Did you go to his house? Did you call him on the phone? Uh, I knocked on his door because I did not have his phone number. And uh, the very first time I... Do you remember what month that was in? September of 2015, originally. Go ahead. Um, I, I knocked on the door and asked him to come outside and look at my vehicle so he could see what I was talking about. And I showed him the marks. And right then and there, that very first time, he admitted to it. Oh, just tell me what he said. He showed him the marks. Um, and he was like, oh... Okay. He didn't really say much. And, uh, oh, don't tell me what he said. Don't, don't say he admitted to it, because that's a conclusion. I want you uh, to tell me what he said. He said, oh. Yeah. And? Oh, um, okay. And I said, well, I would like you to pay for the damages, because you've damaged my car. And he said, well, get an estimate. I'll pay you. I don't care. And I was like, okay. Then uh, the next time I had spoke with him, he Did you get an estimate? Uh, I actually did. It's, it's either a yes or a no. You did not. At that time, no, but I do have an estimate, yes. At that time, you did not get an estimate to him. Correct. And then when was the next time, if you remember, when you spoke to him again? Probably that I know for sure was the March of 2017 when he, uh, the physical altercation happened. Well, tell me what happened. I came home from work at 11 p.m. on St. Patrick's Day and uh, uh, wanted to pull into my parking space and him or his friend, some vehicle was parked over the line in the parking space, creating it so I couldn't get in without damaging his car or damaging the car on my left side. And so I knocked on the door. Do and you have a photograph of that? Of, the, of them parked there, I do not, no. not on hand. And I said, move your car, and he refused. And came outside and I said, well look, I can't get in my space, move your car or I'll call the police. And he said, call the police, so I did. And? And uh, while I was on the phone with the 911 operator, he came over to my car and forced, tried to force my window down with his hands, pulling my window down, and uh, I was screaming on the phone and telling the operator what was happening, and I was like, get them here right away, he's getting physical now. And when he couldn't get into me, into my car, he spit at me, and I have photos of the spit on my windshield, on my driver's door, and on the ground when he tried to spit at me just standing there while we were talking. What happened in March? In March, St. Patrick's Day, I came to the house. I came back intoxicated because I came from the bar. No, no, you're talking too fast. I came back from the bar. You came back from the bar with whom? With my, my friend. And whose car were you driving? I wasn't driving any car. Whose car were they driving? He was driving a car, a BMW. Okay, and he parked in your spot? Mm-hmm. Mm hmm is not an answer. Yes, miss. He parked in your spot. The plaintiff came to your house and said, the car is over the line, so I can't pull in. In other words, you came outside and you took a look, and your car was on the line, so it made it small. What happened next? She aggressively knocked on the door. She asked for to move the car. My friend agreed to move the car. He was on his way to moving the car. I don't know what happened. I need to ask my friend, or you, if I can call him out to the stand. No, I want right. you to tell me what happened with you. All right, I was inside the house the whole time, being between the situation between Lynn and my friend. I came out of the house a few minutes later because I heard arguments, yelling. And so you came out of the house, and what happened? When she you was came just out talking to him, telling him to move his car. And then, what, so now you're outside, and she's yelling at your friend to move his car. Was she standing outside or was she in her car? She was in her car. So now she's in her car. Yes, miss. And your friend is outside. Yes, miss. And you're outside. Yes, miss. Yeah, it's not miss, it's your honor. Your honor. And you're outside, so you weren't inside the whole time. So you weren't inside, you were outside with your friend. Yes, your honor. And she was in her car calling the police. Yes, your honor. And what happened next? Well, this whole argument started going on. No, no, no. What happened next? She's in her car calling the police. What happened next? She threatened to call her boyfriend to kick her out. Just a second. Where were you when she said that? In the parking lot. Where near her car? I was not near her car. Then how did you hear her threaten you if you weren't near her car? Because she was yelling and she had the window down. She had the window all... Are you telling me this woman with two drunks around her had the window down and was yelling at you? Is that what you want this person to believe? Is this what you want? Look at this face. Yes, miss. <laughs> this, this is a wise face. It's not a gorgeous face. It's a wise face. 